in a hauling breeze may tickle a landsman's taste. But the happiest are our sailor sees is when he's down at an inland town with his Nancy on his knees. Yo ho! And his arm around her waist. And the captain of the boat has been the swings us round. With a yogi po and a rocky low, we'll run for the whole good run. With a yogi po and a rocky low, we'll run for the whole good run. Yo ho! Yo ho! Yo ho! Yo ho! Songs and snatches and a dreamy lullaby and dreamy Someday it may happen that the victim must be found. I've got a little list, I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground and who never would be missed, who never would be missed. There's the pestilential nuisances all right for autographs. All people who have flabby hands and irritating laughs. All children who are up in dates and floor you with them flat. All persons who in shaking hands shake hands with you like that. And all the persons who on smiling tater tates insist, they none of them be missed. They none of them be missed. He's got them on the list. He's got them on the list. And they none of them be missed. They none of them be missed. And that nigger serenader and the others of his race and the piano organist. I've got them on the list, and the people who eat peppermint and puff it in your face, they never would be missed, they never would be missed. Then the idiot who praises with enthusiastic tone, all centuries but this and every country but his own, and the lady from the provinces who dresses like a guy, and who doesn't think she waltzes but would rather like to try, and that singular anomaly, the lady novelist, I don't think she'd be missed, I'm sure she'd not be missed. He's got her on the list, he's got her on the list, and I don't think she'll be missed, I'm sure she'll not be missed. And that nice surprise nuisance who just now is rather right, the judicial humorist, I got him on the list. All funny fellows, comic men and clowns of private life, they'd none of them be missed, they'd none of them be missed. And apologetic statesmen of a compromising kind, such as, what you call him, thingy Bob. Likewise, never mind. And what's his name? And also, you know who. The task of filling up the blanks I'd rather leave to you, but it really doesn't matter whom you put upon the list, for they none of them be missed. They none of them be missed. You may put them on the list, you may put them on the list, and they none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. the 
Spring to allow breathe promise of merry sunshine. As we merrily dance and we sing to Allah, we welcome the hope that they bring to Allah of a summer of roses and wine, of a summer of roses and wine. And that's what we mean when we say that a thing is welcome as flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, the flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la, have nothing to do with the case. I've got to take under my wing, Trala, a most unattractive old thing, Trala, with a caricature of a face, with a caricature of a face. And that's what I mean when I say or I sing, oh, bother the flowers that bloom in the spring. tra la 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 tra la 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 oh, bother the flowers of spring. tra la 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 tra la 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 tra la 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 Singing willow, tit willow, tit willow. Is it weakness or intellect, birdie? I cried, or a rather tough worm in your little inside? With a shake of his poor little head, he replied, Oh, willow. Tit willow, tit willow. He slapped at his chest as he sat on that bough, singing willow, tit willow, tit willow. And a cold perspiration bespangled his brow. Oh, willow. Tit willow, tit willow. He sobbed at his side and a gurgle he gave. Then he plunged himself into the billowy wave. 
was blighted affection that made him exclaim, Oh, Willow, tit Willow, tit Willow. And if you remain callous and obdurate, I shall perish as he did, and you will know why. Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die. Oh, willow, tit willow, tit
the sandy Spanish shore, the Duke of Lazator, and his grace's duchess too. The noble Duke of Lazator All his graces, Duchess, staunch and true And his graces, daughter, too And his graces, own particular drum To Venetia's shores will come To Venetia's shores will come If Then we probably review the household troops 
who with the usual shallow humps and shallow boats will receive with ceremonial and state an interesting eastern potentate. After that, we generally go and dress our private valley. It's a rather nervous duty. He's a touchy little man. Write some letters literary for our private secretary. He is shaky in his spelling, so we help him if we can. Then in view of cravings enough, we go down and order dinner. Then we polish the regalia and the coronation plate. Spend an hour in titivating, all our gentlemen in waiting. For we run on little errands for the ministers of state. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king. Yet the duties are delightful and the privilege is great. But the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is to run on little errands for the ministers of state. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, yet the duties are delightful and the privilege is great. But the privilege and pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is to run on little errands for the ministers of state. After lunch and making merry on a bounden glass of sherry, if we've nothing in particular to do, we may make a proclamation for receive a deputation, then we possibly create a peer or two. Then we help a fellow creature on his path With the garter or the thistle or the bar Or we dress and toddle off in semi-state To a festival, a function or a fete Then we go and stand a sentry at the palace Private entry, marching hither, marching hither Up and down and to and fro While the warrior on duty goes in search of beer and beauty And it generally happens that he hasn't far to go he relieves us if he's able, just in time to lay the table. Then we dine and serve the coffee, and at half past twelve or one, with a pleasure that's emphatic, we retire to our attic with the gratifying feeling that our duty has been done. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, but the pleasures are many and the worries there are none. And the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is the gratifying feeling that our duty has been done. Oh, philosophers may sing of the troubles of a king, but the pleasures there are many and the worries there are none. And the culminating pleasure that we treasure beyond measure is a gratifying feeling that we do.
Sufficiently dignified Now for an attitude not too stately Still sufficiently dignified One sleep twice sleep One sleep twice sleep Bow impressively ere you glide Capital both, capital both You caught it nicely That is the style of thing precisely Capital Mark, Capital Mark, you caught it nicely. That is the style of being precise. Oh, sweet word, a nobleman's praise. Capital Mark, Capital Mark, we caught it nicely. Supposing he's right in what he says, this is the style of being precisely. Capital Mark, Capital Mark, you caught it nicely.
Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope you're all quite well. Quite well. And you, sir? I am in a reasonable health and happy to meet you all once more. You do us proud, sir. Understood, I come on a right good crew. We're very, very good, and be it understood, it amounts a right good crew. Though related to a peer, I can hand reef and steer for ship a silver G. I am never known to quail at the fury of a gale, and I'm never, never sick at sea. What's never? Oh, never! What's never? Well, hardly ever! He's hardly ever sick at sea! Satisfy you all. Yeah, and you will make quite content. You're exceedingly polite, and I think it only right to return a compliment. You're exceedingly polite, and he thinks it only right to return a compliment. Bad language or abuse, I never, never use, whatever the emergency. Though bother it, I may occasionally say, I never use a big, big D. What never? Oh, never. What never? Hardly ever, hardly ever spends a big, big deal. And if we choose a bunch of the well-bred captain of the pin of I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. I polished up the handle of the big front door. I polished up that handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. As office boy, I made such a mark that they gave me the post of a junior clerk. I served the writs with a smile so bland and I copied all the letters in a big round hand. I copied all the letters in a hand so free that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He copied all the letters in a hand so free that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. In serving writs I made such a name that an article clerk I soon became. I wore clean collars and a brand new suit for the pass examination at the Institute. For the pass examination at the Institute. That pass examination did so well for me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Of legal knowledge I acquired such a grip that they took me into the partnership and the junior partnership I ween was the only ship I ever had seen. Was the only ship we ever had seen. But that kind of ship so suited me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. But that kind of ship so suited me that now is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. I grew so rich that I was sent by a pocket barrow into Parliament. I always voted at my party's call, and I never thought of thinking for myself at all. I never thought of thinking for myself at all. I thought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He thought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Now, lands, one all, whoever you may be, if you want to rise to the top of the tree, if your soul isn't fettered to an office stool, be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Stick close to your desks and never go to sea. 
And you all may be rulers of the Queen's Navy. Stick close to your vests and never go to sea. And you all may be rulers of the Queen's Oh, who knows the water? 